Hi, and welcome back to MyExcelOnline.com. Today, we are going to go over different ways to make your slides and PowerPoint look a little more professional. Have you ever made a PowerPoint slide that looks like this, yet you don't know what else you can do to your slide to make it look a little more interesting? Well, that's what we are going to go over today. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. The first thing I would like to go over is how you can create interesting graphics like this just by using a few shapes and perhaps an image that you may have. Next, we will go over how to create a slide like this in a couple of minutes. Next, we'll go over how to create this slide in under a minute. And finally, we'll show you how to make these slides from scratch using the Design tab in Microsoft PowerPoint. So first, let's see how to design this graphic from scratch. So if I open up PowerPoint, the first thing I'm going to do is go to a blank presentation. And then I'm going to highlight these boxes and just get rid of them. Next, I'm going to go to the Home ribbon and go under Shapes, and I'm going to select this multiplication sign, and then I'm just going to click and draw to the right. And then I'm going to resize that to be pretty big. And then I'm going to fill that shape with this lightest green color right here. And then for my Shape Outline, I'm going to pick No Outline, and for my Shape Effects, I'm going to go down to Shadow, and just pick this one right here. And then next, I'm going to go over here and look for the rounded rectangle. And I'm going to draw that across the X. And I think I'd like it about there. And then for my shape fill, I'm going to go down to picture from file. And I'm going to pick my logo. So a couple other things here. I want to go to shape outline and I want to make no outline. And then I'm going to right click on here and go to format picture. And I'm going to select shadow right here. And for the color, I would like the third green down. And you can see now that this is applied a green shadow to my logo itself. So the final thing I'm going to do is center this a little bit more on the X and I'm going to hold down shift while selecting the background image as well. Then I'm going to right click on both and go to group and hit group. And now I have this logo that I can use anywhere I would like, and I can move it all around as one graphic together. Next, let's see how to make this fall hike slide as quickly as possible. The first thing I'm going to do is go to a blank presentation. And once I have a new presentation, I'm just going to select these boxes and delete them. And then I'm going to look over here to the right. I have a bunch of design ideas, but the thing is every time you open PowerPoint, they bring up different designs. So what I recommend is just picking one picture and then right clicking on the picture and going to change picture. And after change picture, go down to from stock images. And you can see that this is loaded with stock images once you've installed PowerPoint. And even across the top, you can see some topics as well. But for now, I'm just going to type fall and I can scroll through any of these fall images, but let's just say that I like this one. I'm going to select the one I like and then hit insert. And you can see that my whole slide is now taking this theme. And if I look to the right, I can see different design ideas. So before I go looking through all of those design ideas, I'm going to go up to here to my slide layout, and I'm going to put some text boxes on here. Let's just do title slide for now. So for my title right here, I'd like to say fall hike. And then my subtitle, I'm just going to say October 11th, 2022. And I can't really see that font very well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look over here on the right and you can see that there are many variations on this slide. I can select any of them and you can see now that my font is being reformatted and my subtitle is being moved and I have a lot of options to make a really nice slide. So the one I'm going to pick is this one right here. And then I'm going to right click on here and go to duplicate slide. And then let's say I want to change the layout a little bit, but I kind of want to keep a variation of this picture so that my presentation looks consistent. So let's say I scroll down to one that has a lot more weight in it, this one. And then next I can go up to slide layout and I can change the content right here. And some of these text boxes, maybe I'll just need to move around like a little bit more and I can change them. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how you can create a slide design and keep using that 
design in the slides that come after it. If you are liking this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button to get notified when we release our weekly videos. Next, how do I make a slide like this? Let's go to File and a blank presentation. And now we're going to talk about those bullet points. So in order to create bullet points, I need a different kind of slide layout. So I'm just going to go up here and change it to Title and Content. And down here, I'm going to add Topic 1, Topic 2, and Topic 3. And you can see that every time I add a topic, I get a bullet point on there. And let's just say this title is Topics of the Day. So down here, I'm going to select the second text box, and I'm going to go up here to Smart Art. So when I click that, I have a lot of different design ideas, and you can just hover over them and sort of watch how your screen changes. And you could pick any of these that you would like. So basically, where you see Topic 1, 2, and 3, those are my bulleted items on my original slide. So let's pick this one. And now I have some options up here. I can select a different smart art style. And so let's say I like this one. It's a little more 3D. And then I can also go over here and change colors. If I don't want this to be blue, I could select a variety of colors. Or I could go down here to the blues. And let's say I select one of these. You can see that the color is starting off dark and it's fading off to the right. And if I decide I don't really want this graphic, I can go up to the layouts right here and I can change the shape of my smart art again. So let's say I would rather have this one. I can click on that and you can see that everything has changed rather quickly. So just keep in mind, if you want to use smart art, you need to have some bulleted items in your presentation. And finally, how about this slide? How can I create a slide from scratch and still get it to look decent in under a minute? So if I go to File, New Blank Presentation, if I go over to Design, I have a bunch of different designs right here that are built in. So you can hover over those and see what it does to the screen. But for our demonstration, I would like to pick this one because it has a nice little graphic over here on the side. So once I've chosen the theme that I would like to have, I can change that theme a little bit. I can have a different variant right here. Or if I click the down arrow, I can have different colors. So every time I hover over one of these color themes, you can see how the screen is changing. So if I pick this first one, you can see that the graphic on the left has changed color a little bit. It goes from being a lighter color to the, a darker color on the bottom of the screen. So I'm going to select that one. And my next option, if I hit this down arrow, I can go to Fonts, and I can change what those default fonts are going to be. So let's just scroll down here and say I pick this one. And then one more thing I can do is hit the down arrow and go to Background Styles, and I can sort of change the color of the background if I don't like the blue. So let's say... I would like this gray one right here. I can click on that, and then I can begin to just edit my slide right here. If I want to add a new slide, I can just right click and go to new slide. And you can see that that new slide inherits the same theme, so you don't have to keep doing that over and over again on your slides. If you don't want this to be this layout for a slide, you can go back to home and change the slide layout to whatever you want it to be. So hopefully that gives you a few new ideas on how to create more professional looking slides. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you again next time. If you want to learn more about Microsoft Excel and Office, join our Academy online course and access more than a thousand video training tutorials so that you can advance your level and get the promotions, pay raises, or new jobs. The link to join our Academy online course is in the description. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you're really serious about advancing your Microsoft Excel skills so you can stand out from the crowd and get the jobs, promotions and pay rises that you deserve, then click up here and join our Academy online course today.